As millions of people stayed home during the peak of China's outbreak, Niu Weibing stayed out on the streets. He's part of China's delivery army, widely seen here as vital when cities shut down, helping people stay indoors and reduce the spread of coronavirus. During the peak of the outbreak, my deliveries were up by a third. I was doing close to 300 per day. Everyone seemed to be buying disinfectant. Usually, couriers enter apartment blocks and deliver to the door, but authorities banned them from going in. They stopped delivering face to face and instead offered contactless deliveries, using lockers to leave parcels or placing them on stands outside compound gates for residents to collect later. Our company has given us protective gear like gloves and disinfectant. We sanitise our vehicles. They also take our temperature daily. Temperature checks have become normal everywhere in China, including on deliveries. Even McDonald's tells you the temperature of the people who made your meal. So both the chef and the delivery driver under 37.3. As China's government finally admitted the severity of the coronavirus outbreak in late January, people across the country quickly cleared shop shelves of masks and sanitizer. But the toilet paper and food panic buying that hit Hong Kong and then Australia didn't happen here. The reliable supply of groceries and meals from China's army of couriers is widely seen as a key reason. The company that runs this sorting centre, JD, says the delivery volumes of staples like milk, cooking oil, flour and instant noodles were more than double the normal amount during the lockdown. Every day tens of thousands of boxes move through this sorting centre and even during the peak of China's outbreak, the workers were still here keeping the goods moving. We are uh, working uh, through the whole virus period to make, sure, make the supply chain in a good situation. Even in hardest hit Wuhan, where delivery services were suspended in the heaviest lockdown of all, robot couriers continued to deliver. Although in reality, humans still did the bulk of the work. Either way, it's clear, like in China, Australians will be relying more than ever on delivery to make the shutdowns work. China is obviously a huge uh, country, huge population. But when you, when you talk about supply chains, I honestly believe that uh, the supply chains are, are quite um, advanced here in Australia. Um, obviously, geographically, uh, we're challenged because of um, some of the remoteness that we have here. Australia's supermarket chains have already run up against the limits of home delivery, halting some online orders when they initially ran out of supplies due to panic buying. And alongside food delivery services like Uber Eats and Deliveroo, DHL's Oceana chief Gary Edstein says his staff are taking extra precautions. Obviously the focus is on safety, Bill, and what we're doing is we're providing, again, all those um, requirements such as um, personal protective uh, equipment, gloves, masks. We're, all, we're also doing temperature checks as well. Australian companies can never hope to match the scale of China's delivery giants, which rely on low-cost labour, high-density living and huge populations. Beijing, like most of China, is almost back to normal now. But there are millions in the outbreak city Wuhan who are counting down the days. They'll come out of lockdown this week, and they may even be able to once again enjoy a meal outside. Bill Bertels, ABC News, Beijing.